This is the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin, a.k.a. Q Gauze No Days Off. From on the field and off the field, NFL player and entrepreneur. Motivating you to be the best you can be and getting you out of your comfort zone. Sharing with you travel, sports, and entrepreneurial tips with amazing guests on the show. Now, get ready for your life to change with the Life Journey Podcast and your host, Quentin Gauz. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Life Journey Podcast with your host, Quentin Gauz. We're here with Quentin as well, too. (laughs) This is a Q&Q right now. So, Quentin, great to have you on the show. Um, let us know a little bit about um, where you're at right now and uh, you know what your what, what your business and what you're in. Yeah, for sure. So um, right now, I'm currently I'm an IT engineer um, for a startup company. Um, the way my story kind of happened is um, when I finished school a couple years ago, I moved out to Silicon Valley. Um, I was working in tech out there. Um, after a while, I felt like my passions lied somewhere else. Um, so I left there. I needed some sort of like rediscovery with my life. So after I quit my job, I went to travel the world for seven months. Um, all I left with was a carry-on bag. I went to Southeast Asia, went to wow. Africa. And then um, around March of 2018, um, that's when, well, around April of 2018, that's when I came back and I kind of had a sense of what I wanted to do and like a better purpose. So now I'm out here living in Atlanta working. Wow. Yeah. That's an amazing story. So how was that traveling around the world with just a backpack? Um, it was relieving because when I was in Silicon Valley, I was just stressed a lot and just having a carry-on book bag, meaning like to understand when I say carry-on book bag, when I was out in California, I sold all my stuff. I sold wow. old clothes, I sold furniture, TV, just everything. And um, it just made life simple. I left with three pair of shorts, maybe two pair of shirts, and I just rotated and it was just simple life. My only goal was waking up was what I'm gonna do today, not what I was gonna wear, what bill I had to pay, it was just get up and just see the world. Yeah. How come a lot? What, did, it, did that bother you that you, you know, like selling everything and like what made you take those steps? Because a lot of people can't take that, like they're afraid mm-hmm. to be uncomfortable. Um, I think it was the fact because I was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable right. waking up just, just being miserable. When you're, when you're at a point, there's like a threshold in life. When you're at a point where you're just so miserable with life and you're like, I, I can't see myself doing this for like two years from now. I can't even see myself doing this six months from now. It's like, you gotta read a certain point where, I mean, you gotta think about it. When you're in tech and you like have a good job, something really has to click for you to like give all that up. I was doing really well, but mentally I was not there. And that's what clicked for me. That's when I knew that there was just more to do. You know, yeah. That's, that's yeah. encouraging, you no, know, definitely. Whoever's listening out there right now, like make sure you like you hear that story because you, to. you know, you gotta get out your comfort zone. Like, don't don't sit and be unhappy somewhere and you're not you know you're gonna and you, and you work there for the rest of your life and then you're gonna sit there unhappy and then like die knowing that you didn't get a chance to accomplish what you could have yeah you know like talk about people like that that uh don't want to take it to the next level that don't want to like work on that personal development build themselves like for people like who you said people who don't want to do it yeah who don't or super afraid to take that next step yogi you'll be in a cycle next thing you know 10 15 years will pass so one of the things that i wanted to make sure i was making the right decision so i run around the office before i even put in my notice i asked people who are like in their 50s and 60s i was like at the time i was 24 i asked them i said if there's one thing that if you were 24 what would you be doing right now about 95 percent of the answer was like man i'll be out here traveling like this is routine this this like this doesn't change like if i was your age i'll be out seeing the world right now for that i regret it not saying that i didn't have like a bad life but that's what i'll be doing if i was young and like that's one of the things i'll be doing um so just to speak on that, i'm just saying whether it's traveling whether it's a passion like if you're just uncomfortable you got to do it life goes like life moves on before you know it we'll be all old so just we have one life better just live it yeah, you have to live it. You have to. Uh, yeah. Respect yeah. Uh, what are you looking to do in the next couple months and years? Like, what's your, what's some of the goals and aspirations? Um, so, my goals now is like with tech. What I plan on doing is, I want to continue to travel, but I want to do it in a way where I'm helping people. So, my goal is to eventually have my own um, tech consulting firm. 
um, hire a lot of underrepresented groups um, to, to work, like training people who just don't have the resources to go to school, don't have the resources to just, you know, to just apply because they don't like know how, they don't have the skills. I want to be able to provide uh, means for to do that. So um, one of the things that I actually wrote down last week was something in um, a small country, um, Guinea-Bissau in um, West Africa. Um, I want to build a community out there, like a safe space for people to learn about tech that includes like, includes, like community garden, like early, early childhood development, um, business courses, just things like that. Something where I could just put my footprint on and like kind of lead. So that's the end goal. And I think tech is the path to take you there. Before tech was just like, I'm working, this was every day. But now I have this tool, I have this skill where I can use it to like help change things. Wow. Yeah. See, purpose, so you found your purpose. I found my purpose, you know, I was miserable with tech. I travel, come back. Oh, I'm still tech, but now I have a purpose with it. Wow. Yeah. How long does it take for people to find their purpose in life? <sighs> or even try, or even have found it? I think it just it. takes events. It takes events for you to find it. It's, it's some event. If you notice, a lot of success stories, they'll say, I saw this guy on the street, and, and that's when I knew that this is what I need to be doing. This person came to spoke, you know, spoke with me. It's like an event. You just have to be patient and wait for that event. It's that significant moment that this is, uh, this is my purpose. This is what I should be doing. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Leave the people with a quote um, or a last statement before we close. Yeah, so one of the things that I live by, and I say this all the time, is live life simple and fall in love with the experience. Like, wow. that's, I really created that while I was traveling. It was like, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm skydiving, whether I almost drown in water, you know what? Live life simple, <laughs> fall in love with the experience. If you do that, you're good. You're good. Yeah, that's what it would be. Great words of wisdom. Yeah, These people you're with your IG, your social media following. Oh yeah, IG at one minimalist. Follow me there. Um, I'll be on off to Madagascar in a couple of weeks. <laughs> then I have Ghana in December. And then I'll be somewhere next year. I haven't planned that out yet, but a lot of cool places I'll be going. And um, I'd love for you to like tag along with me. Yeah, follow yeah. his journey, y'all. So that's what we call the show the Life Journey Series because it can be deal with sports, entrepreneurial stuff, and uh, just life in general. So. Great stories like this is why, you know, the show has been made, so. Thank you for listening to the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin Gauze. To find out more and to follow the journey, visit Quentin's Instagram at QGauze or our business page at iron underscore visuals. For full recaps of the show, find us on iTunes and the Google Play Store. Thank you for tuning in.